So Steve Jobs often used the phrase reality distortion field and others used it uh, to describe the environment in which he operated and it's, it actually applies to a number of different ways that Steve behaved. The first and I think foremost way is that it was all about his belief that the impossible was possible. So when you worked with Steve Jobs, everything that seemed impossible, he made possible or he made you make it possible, which was even more, uh, more important, and that became part of the reality distortion field. So that was the, really the biggest part of that, was making the impossible possible. Steve Jobs was a real fan of the top tier business press. So he loved Fortune, Forbes, Wall Street Journal, New York Times, Business Week, uh, Time Magazine a little bit. Uh, and of course the major television stuff he, he was a big fan of, although he was not very good in front of a camera. Uh, so working with him was kind of a challenge in getting him prepared for these interviews. Uh, he, he was very touchy about photo photographs, so you couldn't actually take too much time with a, a photo. It had to be quick, it had to be fast, and he had to like the photographer. And if he didn't like the photographer, they were pretty much dismissed from the room and we had to get another photographer back in. As I remember one time in particular, we were in a hotel room in uh, New York at the Carlisle Hotel. After having spent half the night rearranging the furniture and bringing a piano in and bringing in all kinds of special flowers and special food, um, we had, I believe it was Fortune Magazine, was doing a photo shoot with him. And uh, he, he wanted to listen to Michael Jackson while this photo shoot was going on. So we had an old cassette player, because this was the 80s after all. And, uh, and during only one song would he actually behave, and that was Billie Jean. So every time uh, he was supposed to pose for the camera, he wanted to hear the Billie Jean song, so I would have to push the button, and, and we'd hear Billie Jean, and he would behave, and he'd pose, and he'd do a, a great, uh, great performance for the photographer, and as soon as the song was over with, he would be back snarling and grimacing and, and not doing anything he was told to do. So I had to rewind, 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 go back to the beginning of the song, and he would behave again, and that's how we spent about an hour and a half. <laughs>